As a ferry stops at the calm shore, multiple people can be seen rushing off in a fast demeanor. John Marston is also among them who walks with two federal agents. As they pass by, a kid tries to sell a newspaper to them but they continue to walk away. These federal agents are taking him to the train station. Despite John taking the train he seems highly tense and concerned. The thing that adds to his inconvenience is the talk of two elderly ladies sitting at his back. Both are talking about how they bring civilization to this savage land and people who are native here must be grateful to them for their kind actions. Meanwhile, a young girl in front also asks her dad if this is wrong to take the lands of people here and if all savage people are not going to hell. This young girl also seems excited that soon humans will going to fly. However, John only listened to these people's conversations and reply nothing when they all were talking about his land and his people. As the train stops he came out of it and enters a place that seems to be a bar. John upon reaching there meets a person named Jack he asked John to follow him. They both start riding on a horse while Jack told him what's going on all around in this area. While John told him about his intentions to kill Bill Williamson, who was a former gang member. He also told him that the Bureau compels him to do so and if he will not be able to complete this task his son and wife will be punished. So the only way they can survive is if John assists the Bureau in tracking down former members. Soon they reach in front of Fort Mercer. Jack goes back while John chooses to go towards the fort. As John reaches in front of the fort gate he asks for Bill. John talks to him and tried his best to convince Bill to surrender otherwise they will kill all of them. But Bill didn't agree as he doubts John's intention to save himself rather than saving him. So instead of listening to John one man among them shoot him down. John got severely injured by a bullet and collapse on the ground. Two passing by men help him and loaded him in their carriage and take him to Bonnie McFarlane's house. As John gets consciousness, Bonnie came into the room and told him that he is fine. The doctor takes the bullet from his body and charges them $15 for this. John felt sorry about this as this is a huge amount for them. But she asked him that is he stupid and he decides to go to Fort Mercer alone to talk with the most notorious man in this area. After listening to all this John paid his regards to her for help and told her that he knows Bill Williamson from long ago and all he was doing is just trying to save his old time fellow. Bonnie appears to be surprised by this but ignoring all this she asks John what he will do now. John tells his plan to knock down Bill but she told him that is just a heroic move as it is not an easy task to do. However, after a while, John decides to help her around the ranch so he can repay his debut or at least the doctor's fees that she spends on him when he was injured. So they start petrol at night and clear all property from wild animals. Bonnie seems to be impressed with all this. The next day Bonnie tried to ask John how he meets with Bill Williamson and what had happened between both them. But Joe prefers not to tell her as it's all complicated for him as he doesn't want to put her life in danger. However, she asked for his help to get some supplies for the area. Upon getting that John landed in the office of a local official and told him his intention either to kill or capture Bill Williamson. The officer there thought he might be joking and refused to help as Bill is a dangerous man and this task is suicidal. He said his only duty is to keep safe his area so he needs no trouble in this area. Meanwhile, Bill Williamson gets the news that John Marston somehow manages to survive after the gunshot, and this news makes him angry. So he decides to send more men to the McFarland ranch to kill John. As these men approach John somehow manages to save ranch workers but after this attack, he realized that he will require assistance in tracking down the fortified Fort Mercer. So eventually Marshal Lee Johnson in Armadillo decides to help John. After he rescues Wes Dickens, he says he will help John in attacking Fort Mercer but of this, he has to help him with his ailments. When he seems satisfied he helps John by pointing him toward the grave digger man. He can help John in accessing quality guns. He is a grave robber and treasure hunter who has many ways to get access to Fort Mercer. John takes the advice and reaches out to that man named Seth. He introduces himself as John Marston and tells him that Wes Dickens has sent him. But he did not seem to be interested in all this and continue his work. John emphasizes that he and Mr. Wes Dickens need his help but he refuses by saying that people are not good to him and they ruined him and his family. He told John that his partner Moses took his map and he needs it if he wants his help. So John offered him that he will help him in taking back his map. Seth happily agreed and they both started their journey. They reached his hut in a barren area and called for Moses. As Moses saw them he tried to run but John caught him and take him back to the hut so that he can inquire about the map. When they start torching him Moses told them about the map and in return, John got what he wants to make his mission successful. After this John reaches back to Mr. West Dickens and asked him for further plans. So this time he told him to go find an Irish man who can be found in Armadillo or the nearby area. He says he can help you with guns and other stuff. When Mr. West left John along with the grave digger Seth finds the treasure but when they find the chest of treasure it only has a glass eye which makes them disappointed. 
So after completing his promise to Seth John goes in search of an Irish man. As he reaches he saw two other men torching an Irish man on some dispute of horses. He is in a miserable condition so John helps him against the other two men. After settling this matter with his gun John told the Irish man that Mr. West Dickens sent him so that he can help him in locating the machine gun. Irish man upon hearing all this told him that he will help him and they will get it soon enough. Although that Irish man is drunk enough that he can barely stand on his feet he takes John to a place that seems like a mine and upon clearing all hurdles John got the gun that he is searching for. John took all these guns and reaches to Mr. West Dickens who convinced John that they have to take help from other oil men but they seem not to agree with their ideas and attack them. They both barely escaped from that attack and reaches a safe place. So after making his small army John reaches the front of the fort. They try to locate the men who are at night guard of the fort. Mr. West told them it was the right time to get inside the fort as all men at night guard are drunk. They enter the fort and John open up some machine gun for them but they did not find Bill there. After looking all around they got to know that Bill Williamson fled to Mexico to seek help from one of his old ex-gang members Javier Escuela. John is determined to capture Bill he decides to go after him in Mexico. As John reaches the border he came across some locals who made fun of him John tried his best to stay away from them but is ultimately killed by John's gun. A man named Landon Ricketts came near him and told him it was not okay to butcher these men on their land. John passes all tests of Landon and killed almost his all enemies and in return, he helped him in finding Mr. Javier Escuela. They inquire about many men so that they can find any clues about them. After this John decides to meet with DeSantis, he is a member of the Mexican army. DeSantis upon meeting with John promises him that he will help him in finding Bill and Javier. But soon DeSanta betrayed him as he works for the rebels which are led by Abraham Reyes. John is very furious at this point but Abraham Reyes promised him that he will help in finding the men he is looking for. Soon Javier is found, according to the information he is hiding with Colonel Allende. He is a leader of the armed forces. So John and Abraham rush towards the Allen's villa so they can chase him. As the fight goes on Allende betrays Bill and pushes him out of the carriage they were riding in. So Allende holds Bill at his gun short point while during all this John kills Bill and Abraham kills Allende. So after completing his mission John reaches back to West Elizabeth so that he can find his former gang leader, Dutch van der Lind. While all this is going a man named Edgar Ross tells John that his family is safe and their location is not disclosed to anyone. Deceptively, the Dutch community by this time becomes a threat to the authorities and federal agents are trying their best to stop them. After trying their best to stop the Dutch they ask John for help. He finally detained at Cochine, it is a mountainous village where local Indian tribes lived. John chases Dutch through a cave which leads them to a dead-end cliff. Before his death, he told John that all his people are gone or in hiding but by his death, John is free to go home. When John has reached home his wife Abigail and his son Jack greet him with a smile. Now after completing West Elizabeth missions John mostly does the hunting, and taking care of cattle herds with his son. But this ends soon when one fine day when uncle is checking the fields he saw some horsemen coming towards the house. John tells Abigail and Jack to take horses and ride away. There is no chance for John to run to by remembering the Dutch man's advice he stopped running. As he opened the door he saw the US Army and marshals surrounding him. He tried his best what he can do but those men opened fire on him he falls to the ground. For a few moments, he struggled for his life and then took his last breath with a cough. Jack watched all this as he came back after hearing the gunshot. They saw John's body lying on the ground they buried him with tears and cry. After a few years Jack is seen again standing at his father's grave once more but this time he is there to bury his beloved mother alongside his brave father. After this Jack goes to the marshal and try to find out about Ross. Someone told him that he is retired now and used to live in Lake Don Julio along with his wife. Jack decides to go there so that he can find him. As Jack reaches there he meets with Ross's wife who told him that Ross is gone for a while to hunt ducks on another side of the river. Jack finds him and killed Ross to take revenge for his beloved father. Although John wants a different life for Jack all this is the beginning of his life as an outlaw. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe for more epic videos. We will see you at the next one.